Today we're talking about who's going to dethrone who, who will dethrone every current WWE champion, but if you want to win a championship, stay tuned to the end, and I'll tell you how to get this, but basically, just comment and subscribe, and then we'll enter you in, but more at the end, first, let's talk about who will dethrone every current champion, this is a new series on the channel, I'll do this once a month, maybe every other month, depending on the landscape of WWE, the first one, Sami Zayn, the Intercontinental Champion. Champion. So Gunther just came off a 666 day reign at WrestleMania. Sami Zayn did the impossible. Great for him, but he's going to get nowhere near close. He's had a couple defenses, but Chad Gable, if Chad Gable resigns, that's an if because his contract is up. But I do feel that Alpha Academy is on fire right now, and Chad Gable is the man to take the belt. Chad Gable is giving off so many Kurt Angle crazy vibes that that there's no beating him. Chad Gable will be the guy to win at SummerSlam, and then we'll probably get a Chad Gable Otis feud, which I'm all for. I wish that would be more of a slow burn, but regardless, who's the next IC title holder? Chad Gable. Let's now go to the US title. The US title, Logan Paul. Great. I love Logan Paul. Would I like Logan Paul as a human? I don't know. But do I like Logan Paul as a WWE superstar? Yes, I love him. He is currently the longest reigning WWE champion, and I feel, I feel it's going to be LA Knight. Yeah, that guy... He he shot up the card so quick, and once CM Punk and The Rock and everything started happening with WrestleMania 40, he fell down the card really quick. And entering into the mid-card title scene as the U.S. champion, have a good, solid run. I feel that would be a great opportunity for him to get back, climb that ladder of success in the WWE, beating Logan Paul. That would be a huge W in the books because of Logan Paul's status in and outside the wrestling world. So LA Knight is my pick, and they did have a little stare down during King of the Ring. The only thing that is making me doubt LA Knight is the fact that LA Knight has not been booked that strong since King of the Ring. I did a video, 3 Hot, 3 Not. He's not hot at the moment, but we can heat him up real quick by getting with Logan Paul and winning that title. Let's jump to the women's title right now. The, the women's world champion that is held by Liv Morgan. Great call, giving it to Liv. Becky has been defeated and she is now hopefully just on vacation and going to be coming back to WWE. But Liv Morgan, who will she lose to? This one's a no-brainer. It's got to be Mommy. It's got to be Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley needs to be the one that takes it off of Liv Morgan because of all the history. The fact that Liv Morgan put her on the shelf. She's kind of doing a Drew McIntyre punk thing where she's constantly reminding everybody that she's better than Rhea. She's even taking over Judgment Day. So for Rhea to come back as a full-fledged face and to take the title would just be would just be chef's kiss. Whether it's going to be two months or 12 months, the person to beat her needs to be a Rhea Ripley. End of story on that one. Now, what about Bailey's title? Bailey is the WWE champion. I feel Bailey's going to lose to Queen Nia Jax. To me, though, it's hard because I've never really fully connected with Bailey, but I am really connecting with Nia right now. So give it to Nia, and then who knows? Maybe we have Bianca Belair or Jay Cargill. They're the ones to take the title from Nia, a big monster heel with the championship. That would be great for Bianca or Jay Cargill, preferably Jay Cargill when she's ready for it, but I think Bianca is probably ready now while Jay needs a couple more, good couple more months, but who knows? Jay's been impressing me. Speaking of Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair, who's going to win their title? Honestly, I'm not sure. If I had to guess, I would say Piper Niven and Chelsea Green because there's not a lot of tag teams in the women's division. There's just a lot of people thrown together. Now, you can make the argument that Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill are also thrown together, but in reality, I feel like there's only one team and that's the uh, Kabuki Warriors and I'm basically based it on the fact that they have a name, they have a theme, and they feel like a tag team. But other than that, I don't know, but Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, they seem to be like, you know, they're really good friends, they're this, they're that. I feel they're the ones that are going to take it. Chelsea Green would definitely be a person that could elevate that title with just, I don't know, she just has that like 
that her character, you just want to, you just like to hate her, you know what I mean? And so give it to them, let them cheat really bad, and that could start the Bianca, Jay Cargill fall apart friendship where one of them turns heel on the other. So those two will win. I don't know when it'll happen. It could be Survivor Series. It could be Royal Rumble, but it's going to happen at some point, and I feel those two are the perfect candidates. Let's jump to the world champion. Right now we have Damian Priest as the champ, right? I feel that smart money right now is on Drew McIntyre. They're about to go to Clash at the Castle. It's in Scotland, his hometown. Drew just signed a big fat contract. And yet, and yet, I'm actually going to go Damian Priest. I feel that all signs point to Drew McIntyre so much that they're going to swerve us. And they could easily do it with CM Punk. CM Punk is going to come and cost Drew the title, fueling that rage that the Scottish psychopath has. And the crazy thing about Drew's character is the fact that the more he loses, the more his character gets better. He's in a very rare story where the losses piling up fuel the rage in his character and his justification of taking any means necessary. And if CM Punk causes a loss in front of his hometown, that would be insane. That would be insane. It's already the best view going, and they haven't really gone at it like, you know, both throwing punches since the Royal Rumble. And uh, yeah, so I feel that Damian Priest is going to be lucky and beating Drew because of CM Punk. So who does he lose to? He'll lose to Gunther. Gunther is the king of the ring. They're going to give it to him. That allows Gunther then to go to Bash at Berlin and become heavyweight champion. He'll probably defend against Drew even. I really do feel that. But right now we're just talking about who he's going to lose it to. And Damian Priest will lose it to Gunther at SummerSlam. Gunther already has the guaranteed title match, so that's where that one happens. The Raw Tag Team titles and the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I'll be honest, I'm not really too keen on any of the teams right now. Street Profits are my favorite tag team, but I don't even think they're going to win. I think on SmackDown, the WWE Tag Team Champions, they're held by A-Town Down Under. I think they're going to lose it to DIY. I don't know. I'm not a Johnny Gargano or Tommaso Ciampa fan. I I just have never connected with them, but I do know that Triple H connects with them, and that's the only person you gotta really connect with. Triple H, I feel, is going to give them their shot. This might be their last shot because they've been around for a minute now and really have done nothing. I do feel, though, that Triple H is trying to recreate that dynamic that they had as a great tag team champion, only to then Ciampa to turn on Gargano and have a blood feud, single feud there. And I feel that's the path they're on. So DIY is probably going to win this one, even though I wish it was the Street Profits. On Raw, R-Truth and The Miz will lose to Authors of Pain. Authors of Pain. We got Karrion Cross doing this gimmick right now uh, with his final testament. And it's not really, it's not really hitting, but, but... Even if it doesn't hit, even if they fire Karrion Cross, AOP has an upside. And I feel like you give them the titles to give credibility to the Final Testament, plus they're in kind of the beginning stages of feud with the New Day, and they could feud then. But even if Karrion Cross is fired, AOP could just still be a dominant tag team champions. And they were champions before, so let's just give it to them. It's time to take it off of our truth and The Miz. We're not going to talk NXT. I don't watch NXT enough to know. However, I will say I did watch NXT the other day because of Sexy Red, believe it or not. And I'm not even a fan of hers. I was just curious, you know. When, you, when you're driving past a car crash and you're kind of like looking to see what it was, I was kind of seeing what the car crash that Sexy Red would bring to it and Honestly, she did it. I felt she was, you know, she was chill. Regardless of the matter is, I did see Oba Femi, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that, who's going to beat that guy? I have no idea who's going to beat that guy. Oba Femi's like, that dude is, that dude is something. Now, I want to see him and Braun Breaker fight each other. But regardless, regardless, I don't know enough about NXT and all their people. It looks like Ethan Page has a shot at it. But again, I don't really know Ethan Page even because I'm more of a WWE SmackDown Raw person. Although, I might be giving NXT more of a chance. So maybe in the next video, I'll have some opinions on who will take the title. Our final title, though, is Cody Rhodes. Smart Money is on The Rock and or Roman Reigns. But 
But as I demonstrated with Damian Priest and Drew McIntyre, I'm not smart. I'm actually going to say the winner of Cody's title, they're going to pull a Kane. Kane won the title from Austin for one whole day. He beat him at King of the Ring in a first blood match, and the next day, Austin won. And it was kind of like a, whoa, I can't believe they did that moment. Because Austin was so hot, so on fire. Now, granted... That was more of a Vince Russo hotshot booking. But I do feel Triple H is open to all ideas. And it would be such a swerve if that happened. Now, how will it happen, though? Who will it happen with? I think, believe it or not, Drew McIntyre. I say Drew McIntyre wins Money in the Bank because Drew McIntyre has many times said that Money in the Bank is a stupid concept because it allows someone to just cash in on a weak champion and that happened to him and he hates Money in the Bank. But the thing about Drew's character now is that he's a hypocrite and the things that he used to hate, if they help him, then he doesn't hate them anymore. And I feel that he wins the Money in the Bank and he cashes in on Cody. We can have a month of Drew as the champion and Cody wins it back. Then we continue on the course for The Rock and or Roman Reigns. But for one month, maybe even just a week, maybe even just a day, we will have a throwaway championship with a Money in the Bank cash-in from Drew McIntyre. Wouldn't that be insane? <laughs> if, if that happens, we're coming back to this video and we gotta make this go viral. We gotta make me go viral for that prediction right there. Triple H, if you wanna use it, go for it. It's free. It's all yours. And that is my prediction on who's going to take every championship currently held by the WWE Superstar. Now talking about my championships that I've said that I'm going to give away the Smoking Skull, Winged Eagle, or the WWE Championship. The way to win it is to comment in videos. Every comment you get is a new chance to win the title. One opportunity per video, so you can't do 100. You don't get 100 entries for 100 comments, but... But if there's a hundred videos with a hundred singular comments, then you do get a hundred entries. Do you get what I'm saying here? So comment on more videos. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick someone at random and I will contact you. I will say uh, your name on screen and that's how you know you win and it's not some bot trying to steal all your information. And yeah, you can pick whatever title you want out of these three. It's yours. You you pick. Which one do you want? Make sure you comment below and tell me if you think my predictions were spot on or who do you think will win the title from Cody. And if you have any other champions you want to say, throw it out there. And so, yeah, I acknowledge the current champions. You guys are doing great. You're all pretty awesome. And I cannot wait to acknowledge the next champions. Like, I hope you acknowledge the subscribe button. Guys, girls, have a great day.